Hi guys, welcome back. In the base I've got a Camazon B110, size 12. And for the thread I'm going to use a Uni White uh, 6 uh, This is my version, or the version I was shown, uh, I should say, of the Okie Dokie. It's a fly I used to use uh, pretty much every week uh, when I was young. Uh, used to catch loads and loads of fish. Uh, used to fish it uh, everywhere we went, but we used to fish the, the law field a lot down in Kilmacone. Uh and I was I was shown how to tie this fly by my uncle who isn't he any, isn't he with us anymore but he uh he's the only guy I ever knew that, that tied it this way so this this might be something that's that people haven't seen before or it might be something that's really really common. Uh, I don't know. I have just I've never seen anybody else uh tie them like this before. So it's uh some you want some gold wire, some gold uh just some oval oval wire. We'll catch that in on the way down. I know a lot of boys like to fish these uh, when they're fishing the bung. Uh, again, something I don't really fish, but uh, it's, it's really, really effective. So you're going to need some of this. This is PTFE tape, plumber's tape. And uh, it comes in strips like this, or it comes in rolls. You just want to basically cut a strip off. Just do that off camera. And then you just want to put a wee nick into it. That's right enough. And then it'll tear. I'll try and do it on screen, but a bit fiddly. And I'll just tear that away. And that's you. Stuck to my fingers. So you want, I mean roughly, you, you don't want it any longer than that, uh, any thicker than this because it can be quite tricky to, to work with when it's thicker. So we'll run the thread up, no need to catch it in with the thread. You want to basically catch this in, we used to catch it in kind of halfway, halfway down, uh, in the middle of the, in the, of the PTFE tape. So you come across and just basically start to run up a layer of this uh, PTFE. Try and keep it relatively flat. It's always going to look a wee bit bumpy, but don't don't worry about it. The benefit of this stuff is it seems to it seems to last forever. I've got flies in my box. I was using 20, 22 years ago. And they don't look a day older, and before anybody says it, they have caught fish. <laughs> They've caught plenty of fish. Turn that away. And then with this one, you basically want to come up the opposite way. Just start to build up a build up a bit of a kind of taper, that kind of grub taper. It gives a nice kind of, it's almost like a kind of segmented body. Just catch that in. That's fine. Check for any kind of major lumps and bumps, but that's that's absolutely fine. You see how it, I hope you can see it gives a kind of just a kind of segmented body, and then we come up with the rib. <coughs> we we never used to varnish these or or resin. Don't need it. The the only thing you will find is uh, the the first thing. To go is, is the, is the rib. So sometimes, what would happen is the rib would go. Uh, and we just basically trim the rib off at the at the back and just leave it without the rib. It seems to fish just as well without it, to be honest. But this is uh, again, this is just how I was shown how to tie it. So, we'll finish that. 
You could you could leave it like that, I suppose, but it, it wouldn't be an okie dokie if you left it like that. So we'll get some uh, get some glow bright. This is a number four, I think. Yep, glow bright number four. You can tie these any colour you want. Uh, in terms of the head, something something nice and bright. We used to do well with the orange. But, uh, that way. Let's check that. Let's see that way. And that's the only bit that would that would varnish is the is the glow bright head. Might be in the floor, so it'll, it'll start to start to split. You don't need to. You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to varnish the body. Get some varnish for the head. Again, this might be a really, really common thing. People might say, oh, okay, I, I do like that. But uh, I've never actually seen anybody else tie them like this. So I thought, oh, I found some in my box the other day. I was clearing out some boxes and I found some in it. And I thought, oh, no ideal. I'll probably, I'll wait till that dries and I'll probably give the head another coat. But that's, uh, yeah, that's it. That's the okie dokie. The PTFE version anyway. Uh, as I say, it was my uncle that showed me how to use it. Some of you might know him. Tam Melvin. Uh, fished a lot of uh, waters around about kind of... Well, he, he came from Fox Bar, but a lot of the boys down the, the law field and Halo and these kind of places know him. And uh, aye, Tam, Tam showed me how to tie this. Uh, I want to say 20 years ago, but it's probably longer than that, but... Aye, so anyway, give it a bash and uh, tight lines. Thanks for watching. Cheers.